Hi folks, this is Vincent Battaglia with Renova Energy and welcome to our YouTube channel and to the Renova Cafe. We're very fortunate today that we have our first guest who's not a Renovian and her name is Zoe Lin and Zoe, you're from a company called PV Circonomy. Yes. And um, maybe you can have our YouTube viewers uh, mm -hmm. give them an idea of what does PV Circonomy do. Hi guys, um, this is Zoe Lane. I'm with PV's Economy, and thank you for Vincent inviting us here. Thank you, thank you for being my, my guinea yeah. pig <laughs> at experiments, yes. so thank you. Of course. Um, what my company do is that we are, we produce this machine that can, that can process end-of-life solar panels. So there's three things about this technology. It's fully automatic system and fully compact into like 40 foot container. Mm. So it's really small and everything happens inside the machine. And then it can recover 95% of the materials from the panels. So such as EVA, PVDF, and the aluminum frame and everything, all, all in the capsulation, we can take that back to the supply chain. Right. And this, that part is the most important part, which we want to take these materials back into like a, a pallet and back to the merchant materials so right. we can do recycle the product and stuff like that. So it is all about recycling because yes. in, in our industry, our hearts are in, in, in involved every day actively with the environment. So to do a cradle to grave model is terrible. Yes. We don't want to throw away the solar panels or the batteries yeah, that we install. You can still use that stuff. You can still use that stuff. So it's that cradle to grave to cradle. So repurposing all of the materials that go into your solar panels and your batteries. And I met your team when we went to RE Plus, which is yes. a renewable energy conference, the world's largest one. And I remember meeting with your team. And why it struck me as interesting was that I, I thought, uh, as an extension of Renova, we have a company called Microgrids Material Recycling, mm -hmm. or MMR, for the end of life of the materials that Renova installs. We have over 11,000 systems, and folks ask us all the time to remove solar panels, or now we're getting to the point where we're removing batteries. So when I went to RE+, I thought, ah, we'll find all sorts of manufacturers of technology that would allow us here in the United States to recycle and then break mm -hmm. down all of those solar panels and repurpose. There really wasn't anyone. anyone. Yeah, Circonomy, PV Circonomy was, was really the only group that was very responsive. And lo and behold, here we are, probably six months after we originally met. And that's why I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah. In the United States, where, where would you say we are in our level of recycling and repurposing? I would, I would say really bad. Really bad. It's, like, it's not like Europe, because Europe have thought this like um, establish uh, infrastructure, everything for the recycling. They have to take that plan for the panels. And the state is really hard to do recycling because there's so different price and entry level is really high for the customer or even for a com commercial company. Right. They don't see the economic um, value, the value in the recycling. Right. Product. And one area is incentive. So in yes. the United States, we need to have everything incentivized. When we have a bottle or a can, people throw them on the side of the road, and if it wasn't for what we call the CRV or the five cents that you get back for your yeah, bottle or can, people, people wouldn't, they would leave them on the side of the road. So what we're pushing in the United States to incentivize Americans to bring the solar panels to a, a PV Circonomy and MMR facility is a CRV or a customer return policy on a solar panel and on batteries. So you would pay for it when you buy your solar panel, you'll pay that CRV up front, and then when you return that solar panel, you'll get money back from the facility. Yes. And, and we don't have that anywhere. Is it anywhere in the world? Or how, how would Europe, how do the Europeans incentivize? So they charge the manufacturer. Okay. So they pay for the recycling part. Okay, so the manufacturer's responsibility. Pay, yes. Okay, exactly. is to be, they're responsible for the end of life of the solar exactly. panel. And that works well in Europe, yeah? Yeah, okay. but there's still a pain point in the recycling business here because they still need to crush the material and everything still end up in incineration and landfill, still have some scrap. 
right. from the process. And, and what, how much of a solar panel is recyclable? What percentage is recyclable and what would be left over that could so never be reclaimed? The majority of the panel mm -hmm. is from glass, 85% is glass and aluminum frame. Okay. And still is 15%, which is this plastic part. Okay. And people don't know how to deal with this part. Okay. So that's end up in landfill, that's the part. That's, that's the, the part that ends in a landfill. Exactly. But your machinery, PV Circonomy's yes. machinery is able to take the other 85% exactly. and break it down so where it's pure enough to then sell back so, to the market? Yes, exactly, and okay. that's our goal here. And that's the goal, right? Yeah. And have you found any resistance from manufacturers to take your recycled elements back mm -hmm. versus taking new elements out of the ground and destroying the planet even further. Have so, you found? So now we think there's still like some challenge back to the panel, right, these materials. But right. we still think there's still upcycling opportunity. We still can make this material into like our shoes right. or our yoga mat. It's still quite very good. And still use it for, yeah, uh, for another product yeah, then, exactly. another type outside still, of solar. Yeah, there's still a possibility for that. And what about batteries? Have you been looking more? Because that, that seems to be yes. our next challenge. Yes, that will be our over. next milestone. Because if you look at a solar farm or solar system, it's not only PV module. There's right. still like a rack and there's like battery and storage. Right. The racking. And yes, and everything. Right, right. So all of that is recyclable. Yeah, okay. it should be. It should be, right? I mean, yeah. it was made originally from something. It should be able to go exactly. back to that. So thank you very, very, very much to you and your team for, for putting your energy and your headspace into figuring out a way that we can take all the good things that we do with solar and batteries and the renewables that we're introducing to replace the fossil fuel, mm -hmm. you know, the, ut the utilities. Yeah. And you all who watch this channel know how much I love the utilities mm -hmm. and it's it's nice to know that there are folks that are, are working on yeah, the equipment for the true sustainability for true sustainability so yes. I want to thank you Zoe very much thank you for coming you're welcome back anytime and I'm excited to uh, get a partnership going with PV Circonomy and uh, and see how far we can we can really move the ball now with all the resistance that we get from the utilities and legislators uh, we're going to fight hard. We'll fight hard together. Okay. Thank you very much for coming again. Bye. Thank you all for watching.